and therefore you don't sleep as well, you're agitated, it's harder to fall asleep, it's harder to stay asleep. Even if you got like seven or eight hours, it's not deep sleep. Hey guys, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. I am leaving the gym right now. I decided to do a full leg workout minus calves. Um, anyhow, today I want to talk about the two most important hormones, uh, I believe, for improved sleep. And I say improved sleep, better sleep, deeper sleep, because sleep fixes everything. It's your number one thing if you want to improve for health, your fitness, your longevity. Obviously, boost the immune system. It you know, if you're sick, it speeds up recovery. It, you know, decreases your chance of getting ill and various sicknesses and so forth. Your goal is to build muscle. Number one thing for building muscle is better sleep because of better hormones. Your growth hormone and waking up with better testosterone and decreasing stress hormones such as cortisol uh, and fat loss. Um, important, very important, decreases uh, your desire to eat junk food and sugars. It also improves your appetite uh, for better food, uh, improves your mood, you, you get it. Better sleep, better life, longer life, healthier life. So two hormones uh, that you want to improve are is basically stress hormones, more specifically cortisol, and then the melatonin, which is notably for sleep. Now these two hormones typically work in, uh, in contrast to each other. So uh, cortisol level is higher in the morning. Obviously melatonin, the sleep hormone is way lower. Cortisol helps wake you up and you kind of want it to be higher in the morning. Not super high, but you want it to be higher in the morning to wake you up and get you out of bed. It, you know, it mobilizes energy, which is good. And then you want it to decrease as the day goes and by nighttime you want it to be super low and then at that time as it cortisol lowers your melatonin naturally goes up the problem is that when cortisol level the stress hormone or various stresses in your life is up it's harder to secrete melatonin and therefore you don't sleep as well you're agitated it's harder to fall asleep it's harder to stay asleep even if you got like seven or eight hours it's not deep sleep therefore you're not repairing, you're not producing all the right hormones and so forth. So you're not getting all the benefits that you should be getting from sleep. Now, how do you do it? And I've discussed in other videos when to work out all these different things. But like I suggest, I'm working out right after the gym, your cortisol levels are really high. It's under stress, especially if you had a good hard workout. So I go home, I take at least two grams to five grams, that's 2,000 to 5,000 milligrams of vitamin C. I take it, the powder, because it's cheaper. I take it with some magnesium, a little bit of calcium. I then take um, L-glycine, which is an amino acid. It's not that important, the L-glycine. And then I take two or three pills of uh, cortisol and stress relief. Again, all the information is below in the description area. I try to then relax for a little bit. You know, I go home and I eat carbs and protein, and then I uh, try to take a nap maybe, or just meditate or just relax for even 15, 20 minutes. And then at nighttime, um, I try to eat, but preferably an hour to two hours before bed. I've discussed what I should be eating in a different meal. I talked about that. And then again, I take some vitamin C before bed to help lower the cortisol. I take stress and cortisol relief. Again, two pills before bed. And then I take deep sleep formula and two to three pills about half an hour to an hour before bed. Um, I wear my blue blockers uh, to reduce the blue light. I try to dim the lights around the house and I go to bed, you know, definitely before midnight. I try to do it around 10 o'clock and I get up in the morning and my sleep is so much better. I've done so many different things. That's the best and most simplistic way for me to optimize my sleep hormones, the cortisol and the stress levels and the melatonin levels. So you get better life, better health, better fitness, all that stuff, better muscle growth. The two most important times to lower cortisol is after the workout and before bed and then take deep sleep formula before bed as well. And then you can take the vitamin C and L-glycine again before bed 
Uh, but definitely the cortisol and stress relief is what I do. But I do take two grams of vitamin C before bed as well. So hopefully this helps. If it does, you know, share it with a friend. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you want. Uh, for future videos, subscribe and click the bell icon if you want more topics about this, building muscle, better sleep, and cortisol. And um, just try it. Give it a try. I know a lot of you guys watch the videos, but if you're not implementing what I'm saying, then it's worthless. So implement it and let me know how it works for you. Thanks for watching. Wishing you a happy and healthy and a deep sleep for tonight. Bye.